already explained that we are bringing this expensive paper to the table. We are bringing the money to the table so that together we can build this bank. So Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oyundi Fulu Pradani Ma Shapa, Wanayana Wamovenda. And if you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, a veteran in this channel, welcome back for yet another exciting episode of Risk Money and Insurance. And so today, before we go on, I just want to say if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below subscriptions are free you know to just help this channel grow if you really enjoy this content hit that subscribe button if you like me hit the subscribe button if you like my videos hit the subscribe button like just hit that subscribe button before we continue okay cool so today we are talking on a very interesting note history um should i say has been rewritten or history is about to be written I don't know what it is, but um, we all know that ever since the beginning of June, which is the 1st of June, um, Ntabeling Nihoti has been advertising on her social media, you know, to say, people, you must make a move, own the bank. You know, black people, this is the time in South Africa where you have to stand up, you know, and secure you know the future secure the bag and how do you secure the bag you secure the bag by buying those those um on the bank shares right and so just to give a background story to those who might not know like what's popping who are confused right now so ntabeleng lichoti is the managing director of um the young women in business network and they want to actually start a mutual bank and the mutual bank is named after her so it's nl mutual bank and if everything goes well it will actually be the very first uh female black owned you know um, mutual bank in south africa in this video i will just give my opinion right on actually what is really going on right i mean i'm no specialist in the banking banking set sector but i've done my research i've talked to a couple of people and i thought this would actually be a cool video to answer those who have been asking me are you investing in their shares what is going on you know should i invest and so Let's just dive into it. We've already explained what a mutual bank is. And I think some of the concerns that people were raising on Twitter, you know, it's the 100 rand joining fee. People were like, oh, well, what is it for? Um, and she answered, and Tabeling answered, and she was like, it's actually for, it's actually admin fees. Okay, cool. Then there was also problems with the valuation, right? The 5 billion rands valuation. I'm sure everyone knows about that one. It's been throwing, it's been thrown around recently. Um, and also just to say how did they come how did they actually get to the five billion right which is also another question which no one could answer and also things like projections of their assets and their liabilities where they were projecting assets to actually like increase um radically compared to their liabilities and all of that so people were just like what is really going on here and when she was responding on twitter people were actually saying she's being emotional because um I mean, she was frustrated. You can tell, you could tell from the, you know, responses that this lady is actually frustrated. And I can understand the frustration. Imagine you're trying to sell this idea and then there's someone coming at you. It's like a personal attack and then it's a whole shabam. But it could have been handled better, perhaps a, a QA, and a um, and then just lead people to the website to actually read for themselves and all, all of that. Because communication, I mean, it's important. You are actually asking people to, to entrust you with, you know their money so you should be able to respond to the questions that they are posing but anyways um that's not what this video is all about we are just saying uh we're just saying now is it is it worth it is it not worth it and to be honest the answer is uh always it depends and um, i feel like that's the the answer it depends so in south africa according to the mutual banks act you know in order for you to establish a mutual bank 
you essentially go through three stages like three formal stages honestly it's like the first one you need to get that authorization right to establish a mutual bank because then we'll have everyone establishing a bank some other people chowing people's money and running away so this whole process is regulated i mean there are also debates to say is it really um, the Reserve Bank or the bank trying to protect depositors or is it really just a barrier to entry? That's a debate for another day. But um, on top of that, you also need like capital. You need to set aside money before you can start now taking other people's money. You need to actually have money, capital or reserves set aside to actually show that you can actually run this thing and should anything happen, you can, you can repay people their money back. So, okay, cool. The banking system is literally built on trust. So, which is why it's heavily regulated. And also like a lot of us mere, you know, human beings or mere citizens don't really understand the whole financial system and how it works. And so we need to be protected against, you know, things happening to our money. Because if we struggle or if we suffer losses, then the state has to correct all of that, right? Um, and... So after like getting that authorization, then you go to step number two, where you now apply for provisional registration, right? For a mutual bank. So it's a provisional temporary. So what actually happens is that you apply during the first 12 months after you were given the authorization to establish a bank. And this is where NL Mutual Bank is at, Ntabeling Lihoti Mutual Bank is at. They are trying to establish processes, products, employ the right people, people have the proper setup so have my enough money to actually put aside as reserves so that they can be able to apply for the provisional you know registration as a mutual bank and you know before they can get the capital and everything in order they cannot run as a mutual bank yet you know so they can't start you know taking deposits from customers and all of that without that capital and meeting those requirements that are needed by the reserve bank for them to actually do that so that is where the public is sort of like coming in um so they're raising capital right via the share scheme that they're running currently own a bank you guys know um so what you essentially do is you giving the money the public is contributing money you can buy you know a minimum of hundred shares a maximum of two hundred thousand shares um in order for you to contribute or to actually own the bank right and so cool well then what happens after that so what happens after getting the provisional re registration that provisional registration is actually renewable on an annual basis right so they will have to renew this thing on an annual basis and you can only hold that provisional registration for a maximum of five years and so during that five years that's when you have to apply step number three your final registration as a for your final registration as a mutual bank and then the reserve bank can be like okay shop you guys are good you are officially certified certified as a mutual bank or they can be like mm, nah you guys are not gonna actually make it you know um and they can appeal or do whatever that they're doing but essentially at the end of the day i think when people really ask me um should i invest should i not invest i kind of feel like it's because people don't don't know what level of risk they're actually taking by investing in the shares i mean we all know shares are considered to be very risky compared to all the other asset asset classes right and more specifically investing in startups or like companies that are just being established that is also very risky because you're not guaranteed whether they will succeed or not so in essence that is the risk that you are taking by investing in nl mutual bank um you are essentially saying i'm giving them my, my money and you you're not guaranteed whether they will get the provisional registration or not and what happens if you know they don't get the provisional registration and they've already used some of the money to actually you know um to buy products or to start developing banking systems and apps as they're talking about you know and, and and actually like hiring people and all of that so what if they've actually used some of that money right so that's that's another question it's it's actually one of the things that were actually not answered i feel like in all the materials that they've released we don't know what happens you know if um come six years in six years time as they were as they did say in their in their fact sheet to say like after six years then what will happen is you can either get you know your money back um 
it can be refunded to you or like you can keep the shares right for you to continue holding them to perpetuity because like we are we're assuming that this mutual bank will still be in existence even years it will outlive us as human beings and all of that so that is sort of like in essence what is popping so as an individual if you're investing this is the level of risk that you're taking and to be quite honest i feel like the concept whole concept of having you know a black owned mutual bank led by a black female it is really like an inspiring concept it's like for me, that's like, whoa, black excellence. And there's, of course, pressure for them to do it right because we know the VBS scandal and all of that. But then they did say they've been getting clean audits for the past five years with their young women in business network, co cooperative um, banking. So we're just hoping they will carry forth the excellence even to this. And personally, I wish them luck. Um, when it comes to will I invest or not, I still have a few, you know, weeks to actually think about it. If I'm investing, it will be a thing of i am willing to take on the risk so whether i get my money back or not get my money back i'll be fine um but also with that risk there's also an upside that you know the value of the shares can grow over time um because um at this point in time what we have is just a conceptual bank it's a concept of a bank it's not really a bank so need to check my risk appetite if i am actually willing to risk my money into that so at the end of the day should you invest you know, it's just a question of are you willing to take the risk as explained in this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And you have until the end of June to actually buy those shares. So think about it. You still have time. Think about it. Make that decision. Are you willing to take the risk or are you willing to own the bank? Um, so thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye.